Mary kept all things in her heart and perhaps the most important thing she kept in her heart is God's triumph in my life. Each one of us, when we feel that we are a failure, we need to look to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Salve Maria! Today is the Feast of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Our Lady, when she appeared in Fatima, she said, In the end, my Immaculate Heart will triumph. It's sure that after this present crisis in which we are in, when the world is renewed by a new abundance of graces, this feast will be celebrated in a special way because it's the feast of the victory that was already prophesied by Our Lady at a time when the victory of God seems so difficult. But in order to be able to understand today's feast, we need to go back in history a bit. Today's crisis comes from at least the last 500, 600 years ago, when humanity started to turn away from God and to reject the graces of the redemption. Everything started with putting human beings in the center. When we forgot about God, humanism, putting the human person in the center, and that way we were divorced from supernatural life, and humans became ever more materialistic, etc., etc., till we reached the crisis of the present days. Pope Leo XIII, in a famous encyclical at his time, the end of the 19th century, put that into three phases. The first phase, which would be Protestantism, he said, or oh, human beings said, God yes, Christ yes, but the church no. In a second phase, which was the French Revolution, human beings said, God yes, but Christ, who knows who is God? In a third phase, communism, God doesn't exist. So it's a processive revolution, a processive decadence that comes from the last 500 years. But everything started with the Renaissance and with humanism, putting human beings in the center. So therefore, today, when all human things seem to be failing, politics, economics, uh, everything seems to be crumbling, there are still some who would like to put their hope in human solutions. Greater technology and worldwide organisms to control everybody. But that's just one more step closer to the abyss. What will really resolve the problems of mankind is the victory of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, which is the victory of our Lord. He will give us new graces and renew the face of the earth. But to do that, he wants to renew us through devotion to his mother. Since humans were unfaithful to him, to the graces that he conquered for us at the redemption, he gives us his mother to kind of stretch his mercy out to us. A mother is someone who always has her heart open to pardon. And so God giving us his mother is like she will always have pity on us. And she being his mother gets from him all that we need, although we are unworthy of that. But in order for her to triumph in the world, she wants to triumph in the hearts of men. Much more than triumphing in political life and this and that, the most important thing is once again triumphing in the human heart, in my heart, in your heart. But to be able to do that, she needs to cure me of that disease that I carry ever since humanism. I need to forget about myself. And to be able to forget myself, I need to be a failure. Nowadays, those who want to be good have great difficulty in a number of points. Things are so difficult. Everything seems to go wrong. Many a time, someone who consecrates himself to God by the intercession of Our Lady, by the method of St. Louis de Montfort, it's often that the person fails even more than earlier. It's Our Lady who's curing his heart. It's Our Lady who's making the person feel that he's worth nothing so that he can confide in her heart. Our failures are the first step 
to Our Lady's victory. Our failures are the first step to the victory of God in our hearts. But for that, we need to be calm and serene in the midst of all our difficulties and let the Immaculate Heart of Mary triumph in us. When we fail, we need to realize, yes, I'm nothing, I'm dust. As the liturgy of Ash Wednesday says, I'm dust. I need to recognize my nothingness. I need to bow my head, forget that pride that is the source of putting myself in the center of things. And I need to put one hand, join another hand to it and say, Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. The solution to all my problems is to accept that I am nothing, to accept the failures in my life, those failures which I cannot have overcome, those failures that I even could overcome if I were to put the effort that I need to, but I don't do that. Both types of failures, failures that I'm my natural limitations, failures because of my weakness. Accept that, not sin. I need to ask pardon for my sins, of course. I can't make peace with sin. I need to continue to fight against sin. But I need to accept my limitations, my weaknesses, even my sinful nature. Get up every, every time I fall and recognize that I am a failure. That's when the Immaculate Heart of Mary will be more ready to triumph in me. I need my failures for Mary to triumph in me. Today's liturgy talks all about that, but we have no more time to comment it. Mary kept all these things in her heart. In her heart is a sanctuary of all the graces and gifts of God the Father, all the merits that her son gained with the redemption, and all the graces that the Holy Spirit wants to give to mankind. Let the Immaculate Heart triumph in your heart. Be a failure. Thank God for your failures. That's all you need. Let Mary do the rest in you. Salve Maria. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos.